Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing? Great. Welcome to GTAC. This uh, is the official launch of GTAC. Last night was our pre-GTAC pre session, and I hope uh, I actually did see uh, many of you there. So hopefully you had a good time and got to see some great talks from Google engineers about Google technology. Today we're going to launch GTAC, uh, which will actually only have four speakers from Google, and the rest will be from the industry. Um, and if you remember and you did vote, uh, you know who those speakers are because uh, this is part of your selection. Um, I wanted to uh, welcome you on behalf of the committee. They've worked really, really hard to make sure that this event came together. Uh, these are the familiar faces that you'll see walking around. Um, so if you have any things that you need, anything you need help with, uh, and all the things they've been helping you with already, please reach out to any one of us, and we'll hopefully make uh, the rest of you stay here uh, great. Um, I just wanted to uh, touch briefly about the theme this morning. Um, why did we pick a theme of test to testability? In the past, we've really had GTAC, which is a test automation uh, conference. And what I really wanted to uh, do this year was expand the T in GTAC to mean more than test. And that's really the challenge that I want to propose to this set of folks to uh, go through the discussions we're going to have, the presentations that are going to be proposed, and then there's a set of interactive activities that we planned around it. Um, you will see that there will be various talks that will discuss test automation. There will be things about testability. And our goal is to say how test testability and test automation can come together and make the software development process more efficient and move faster. We saw some talks yesterday about Angular and so on, which is actually the, the framework that can make it faster for you. Um, and I'm hoping the rest of the talks today and tomorrow will expose some of these, uh, the thought process and real experiences that are out there. Um, and why is this important? I think the times have changed. Uh, typical software development processes are changing. We're moving into the cloud. And as a result, the fast pace of development and deployment and reaching out to our customers is changing the way we think about tests and testability and deployment and release. So it's, it's a way that it's, we're at the right time. Um, and we want to be able to use your in, uh, collective intellectual to come up with some great solutions, and we look forward to that. Um, the last point there on the, uh, the sub-bullet sub is address the root issue. I think the point is that um, the value systems that develop as part of testing and, and the stigma associated with it, uh, I think there's a lot of smart engineers that do this because they're passionate. They're trying to change the system. They're trying to make sure that people understand the value of quality and good design. Um, and uh, this is an opportunity for us to get together and discuss uh, how we can push this upstream. Um, and, and the cloud really enables that, because uh, if you want to talk about pushing quality upstream, testability is the heart of it, and it should be baked into your design. And everything that comes after that is sort of an afterthought and sometimes uh, a band-aid. And we want to try and see if we can um, excite people, come up with new methodologies or discussions that can make that happen. Uh, so, uh, just a little bit more about GTAC this year. Um, we call it GTAC with a twist. We tried different approaches that uh, we think were really successful. We'd love to hear your feedback on that. Um, we um, selected the attendees first and then allowed you to vote for the speakers that you wanted to see. Um, and if you, if you have been to multiple conferences, you know that uh, a lot of times you don't have a choice of the speakers there. And a lot of people give feedback that the speakers weren't really the, and the topics weren't really what they were looking forward to. So hopefully we've addressed that, um, and uh, you will have a say in giving feedback as the, as the day progresses. There should be feedback forms on your tables, uh, if they're not already there or in your packet, but we will get them to you. Uh, we love your feedback so we can think about how to improve a GTAC in the coming years. Um, we actually encourage people to submit proposals, uh, either as a preview in video format, so that the committee could evaluate uh, the, the content and also the speaking style and other, other subtle elements. Unfortunately, we didn't get too many of those. Uh, but we did get lightning talks. Uh, we actually have one, I think, or two in, in those format. Uh, and we would do more lightning talks, and I'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, and of course, the pre-GTAC event that happened yesterday. Um, we are Google, so we talk about data. So I thought I'll sh share a little bit of data about what's gone into uh, setting this conference. Uh, we had over 500 applicants. We accepted 98. We tried to keep a very healthy balance between 
Google, uh, Googlers and non-Googlers. And if you can see the numbers here, uh, that uh, is the notion to get the right set of people in the room to have these discussions. Uh, we actually have a little bit more Googlers than the number 20, and that's because we have people from Google staff and senior leadership that's here. So you'll see a bunch of us over there. So the numbers are a little bit skewed to that side. Um, we had a call for proposals. We got 80 plus uh, proposals, and we actually split them up into three different categories. Um, and uh, 21 of these proposals were from Googlers themselves. And again, we tried to make sure that this was not a Google intensive talk. Um, so we had to balance out between how many Google talks there were. Uh, and that actually led to the pre GTAC uh, event, because we wanted to make sure that th the great speakers we had also had an opportunity to share the technology is at Google. Um, there are 52 companies represented, um, 23 countries. Uh, that's the way, uh, the best we can guess based on passports information that we got. So we would, might be off here. Uh, seven universities, which mean people who are from universities at this present point, either students or faculty. Uh, two committees, um, of course, the planning committee and the logistics committee, um, and one GTAC. So. And of course, there are other speakers. I, I'm going to, I think you will introduce them as we go through the day today and tomorrow. Uh, but a very happy set of speakers. Uh, they're all here. They've all made it. And um, we, we met up with them last night. Everybody was high on energy and looking forward to presenting their thoughts to, uh, to this forum. And we're happy to have them here. Welcome every one of you. Uh, and we hope you would have a great GTAC um, in the next two days. Um, just some stats about our site. Um, we had about uh, 11,000 plus visits, uh, 26,000 page views, and uh, 7,500 unique visitors that came to the site. Um, that speaks to the, the interest that is available in GTAC. 33% uh, of, of these were direct hits to the gtag.biz site, um, 37 search engines, and 30% referring sites. And I think the referring sites are mostly uh, the conference sites that we enrolled into, and also the Google testing blog. Um, the top three countries traffic, the first one is no surprise. Uh, this event being held in India and JPAC for the first time. So we had a lot of traffic in India and then the US and um, the, the UK uh, uh, followed uh, in, that, in that particular order. Um, and just this is some highlight about how many people actually voted on the uh, speaker uh, discussion we had. So we received about 185 votes. This was spread across three categories of test automation, testing, and testability. Um, and uh, I think the participation sort of tapered off by the time we reached the third category, but the first one was pretty much full. So, um, uh, but it was hopefully a worthwhile exercise for you all. We'll love your feedback on how this went. A, a brief uh, discussion about today's agenda. You will have uh, the agenda in your booklets. It's also at the back of your uh, name tags, so you can actually have easy access to the agenda. Um, we will start off, hopefully, um, and we have started on time, and the keynote by, by Bob, uh, Binder will be next, and uh, we will go through the day. We have a bunch of breaks baked in, and we have some fun activities to make sure that the energy level stays high and that you get to know each other a little bit more. Uh, I do encourage everybody to mingle more at your table and outside of this uh, during the, the breaks, because that's one of the best uh, opportunities you have of mingling with people across the, across the globe um, that are here. We, as you can see, we've split the agenda into themes. Uh, these are correlated to some of the themes we had on um, the voting sites. So we have test automation, we're going on first, and then testability, and tomorrow we'll talk about uh, testing a, a bit more in detail. Um, some housekeeping details. Uh, we do have lightning talks planned for today and tomorrow, um, and we have asked people to think about lightning talks, yet we want them to be spontaneous as well. Uh, if you want to sign up for a lightning talk, we encourage you to come in the corner over there. In the middle, there's a board. You can sign up for it. Burl's going to be driving that, so um, I invite you to go up there. And as you have a thought about a thing you want to present, uh, please step up there and sign up. We encourage no heavy-duty slides other than maybe your name and your theme uh, on these uh, lightning talks. Uh, these are today and tomorrow, so you'll have another opportunity to do so tomorrow. Feedback, uh, again, there'll be feedback forms that will be available to you. Uh, please take the moment to actually uh, fill those out. Eventually, at the end of the offsite we, uh, of the conference, we would be handing, uh, giving you a URL to do an online form as well. So you'll have a second opportunity at that point in time. Uh, if you need internet connectivity, again, reach out to one of our 
the committee members and we'll be able to provide you with the access codes for the uh, connectivity. We do ask that if you're going to VPN into your uh, corporate gateways that you keep it to limit it, limited because we only have a certain set of those gateways open based on the hotel's access points. Uh, so please use them and, and log off uh, as, as much as you need. Um, um, so I would invite you to participate in this activity or let a fun mingling and, and heavy discussion. Um, there is a lot of information in your handouts uh, that will discuss about e uh, profiles of each of the speakers, uh, some about the committee and the deep agenda. Um, we have an invitation or a welcome note from Patrick Copeland, who is our focus area or the uh, global, leadership, uh, global leadership of Inch productivity in Mountain View. He couldn't be here today. Uh, because he just had a, a, a baby. So he sends his regards and sends his greetings, and that's part of the, the booklet that you'll see. Um, at, the, uh, at the end of it, basically, I'm going to now invite Robert Binder, Bob, to come up and kick off the, the um, uh, conference here today. We will have two keynotes, one on each day, and then a closing keynote tomorrow by James Whitaker. And Bob's going to um, kick us off. Bob's a, a software entrepreneur and a, a patent holder, a pioneer in many ways. Um, I'm just going to read out some key aspects of his profile, uh, which are very astounding. Um, he was recently awarded a patent for the unique approach on model-based testing for mobile systems. Uh, he's a member of the editorial board of Software Testing, Verification, and Review, and internationally recognized as the author of the definitive test object-oriented systems, model patents, and tools. Robert holds a uh, MS in Electric Engineer and Computer Science from the University of Illinois at Chicago and an MBA from the University of Chicago. He's also an IEEE senior member, and um, I, there was an aspect of your, your uh, incubation on the, on the board of Agitar and so. Um, so we, I would like to welcome Robert to come up and kick off the event. So please uh, welcome Bob. So.